Getting stuck is easy. Getting unstuck is not so easy. Unless you know how. Whether it's personally or professionally, the steps to change are exactly the same. There's a clear-cut formula to living the life you want and deserve. Are you ready to make a change? It's easier than you think. Go to thehabitformulabook.com and get yourself a free copy. Remember, you don't even have to read it. Just do the exercises at the end of each chapter. If you want me to hold your hand, upgrade your order to the premium course. These principles are the same steps I took to work 25% less and make 30% more. If you seriously want to change something in your life, thehabitformulabook.com will show you how. And get yourself a free copy or upgrade to the premium course for even better and faster results. And get unstuck today. Thehabitformulabook.com Hey everybody, you know what time it is. It's lunchtime with the Habit Master. I'm your host, Dr. Stephanie Aldrich, and I help people change their bad habits. When you change your habits, you change your life. Today is Tooth Tuesday, so we're gonna talk all about stuff with your mouth, with your teeth, and to try to avoid the Halloween dental visit. Okay, we're going to talk about eight tips that you can kind of um, maybe avoid uh, certain things in your kid's basket or grandkid's basket so that you're not visiting me in the next couple of weeks. Okay, this is like an exciting time of year for me. It's the Super Bowl for, for candy and, and crunchy things and gooey things and sticky things. And man, it causes havoc on everyone's mouth and I just love it. Uh, of course, I'm going to tell you not to do it, but of course, you're not going to listen to me, which just gives me more money. So anyway, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about um, Halloween and eight tips to avoid going to see the dentist after your Halloween candy experience. Uh, before I get started, grab a free copy of my book. It's called The Habit Formula. Go to thehabitformulabook.com and grab yourself a copy uh, if you want to really dive into the material and oh gosh you want to lose weight and you and keep it off uh, maybe you've got a some kind of reunion or a wedding or something next year uh, you want to earn more money who doesn't want to earn more money right the secrets are in this book I tell you exactly how to do it uh, it's worked for me it's worked for hundreds of other people all around the world and I know it's gonna work for you all you got to do is fill out the questions at the end of each pay uh, at the end of each chapter and uh, it'll tell you exactly what to do so um, I was looking on the American Dental Association website and uh, they gave uh, some statistics about Halloween and candy and dentists and all of that. Uh, they said that 76% of dentists give out candy during Halloween. I know I used to not give out candy. I used to give out chips or pretzels or, you know, of course with some toothbrushes and stuff. Um, but, you know, then you have a kid and it's like, ah, why don't you give away some of your candy, right? I made my kid give away some of his candy to other people. Uh, basically, though, a lot of people do give out candy because it's job security. It's not the kids that you're going to be seeing. It's going to be mom. It's going to be the uncle that stops over. It's going to be grandma or grandpa that has had previous dental work and eat something that they know they shouldn't, but it's just so tempting. And little, little Junior gave me a little piece of candy to share with Grammy. And guess what? There goes your tooth. There goes a filling. There goes a crown, you know, whatever. And then, oh, you got to come and see Dr. Aldrich for, you know, some kind of fix on your mouth. So, um... You know, I really think that uh, it's more job security than anything. Uh, most dentists give out chocolate 
and why. There, there's a reason for it. It's the easiest one to wash away and clean the teeth. So think of a starburst, right? It gets stuck in the grooves of the teeth and it might stay there for a couple of hours until it, it washes away, right? Think of any kind of caramel stuff um, that can totally get in between the teeth and stay there for a while. It can get in the grooves and stay there a while, and that can cause decay over time. Especially, you know, you've got a little person that's getting all of this candy. Of course, they're not going to eat it all at once, right? So they're going to be putting doses of sugar in their body over time, and that's what can cause um, decay. Or you know, as an adult, same thing. If you have any type of fillings, um, you know, that stuff can either pull them out, it can get in the little crevices and cause that bacteria to, to just go nuts, right? So, um, you know, something to think about. Sticky stuff, it can stick in between the grooves and then, of course, think of the chewy things, the milk duds and the bit of honey and all that stuff. It can really do havoc. The best thing to, to give out is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate typically has less sugar than a milk chocolate um, type of thing and uh, even less than a white chocolate type of candy. So dark chocolate you may not think of as being a, a healthier choice but it really is especially if you buy a little bit more of an expensive chocolate where the um, the cacao uh, percentage is really high. So something to think about. Um, you know, I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's get right into it. Eight Halloween tips that you can use today so that you don't necessarily visit the dentist. Or if you do, we're gonna tell you what, what to do. Number one, too sticky. Don't eat it, especially if you have crowns or you've got a denture, that thing will pull it right out, right? And then it's all over the place. If you've got a filling, I mean, most people have something, a filling, a crown, a bridge, you know, a partial, something. Stop eating the sticky stuff because it will do havoc on it. It will pull out fillings, it will pull out crowns, and then I'll be seeing you in the next week or two. Second one, too crunchy. Of course you know what my opinion is on Crunchy. If you have ever been to my office or have watched these videos, you know that I hate crunchy things. What it can do to a good tooth, a healthy tooth, especially as an adult, especially a female over 35 where we start having problems with vitamin D and calcium issues in our life is they crack the teeth. You can have a perfectly good tooth that has never had anything wrong with it and boom, you're eating a Jolly Rancher, you crunch on it and bam, half the tooth breaks off. I've seen it, I've seen it where you can't even fix it and the person has to get the tooth out because it's actually cracked in half. I see it all the time, okay? Crunchy things, think of all that, you know, the, the crunch, you're sucking on a lollipop and you just wanna start chewing on it, right? Stop doing that. If you do have a plastic filling, any of the bonded fillings, they're gonna, they can crack very easily because it's plastic, they flex a lot, right? So that can totally disrupt that. If you have a silver filling in your mouth, it may not necessarily crack the silver part of the filling, but it could crack the tooth around the edge of the silver filling, and there you go. Uh, if it's a, if you have any kind of porcelain in your mouth, it can totally crack that and, uh, you know, then it, it, it could, you know, you'd have to have the porcelain redone, right? So think of too crunchy as being an issue and stay away from that stuff. Um, let's say that you are eating some candy and you have an issue with the sweetness. And you're like, oh, Man, that, that's hurting right there, right? Well, guess what? You probably have a cavity somewhere. So kind of pinpoint where it is, those sugar molecules are getting in there and, rub, and, and rubbing up against, you know, wherever the defect is, and it's causing the sensitivity. Your body tells you when something's wrong. So if you are eating any kind of sugar, you know, with the candy stuff, and you notice something's like, whoa, wait a minute, what's going on here? 
you do have an issue, go immediately, call the dentist and say, hey, I gotta get in, I want you to look at something because I'm starting to have sensitivity. More than likely, a filling's starting to leak, a crown's starting to leak, something is leaking and you need either a new filling or a new crown or something, it needs to get fixed, okay? Uh, number four, cold sensitivity. So, you know, this time of year in Ohio, uh, you know, it's kind of cold, it's kind of damp, it's always raining, it's windy. Uh, when you're outside with the kids or grandkids and you're walking along, they're trick-or-treating in the neighborhood, and you're like, ooh, you're breathing in that cold air, and you're like, oh man, this one tooth is starting to bother me. Guess what? It's the same thing as sweetness. Something's leaking, uh, something's decayed, something might be in the nerve, and you need to have it checked out. So make sure that you call your dentist, call me up, 330-666-7440, and I'll take a look at it and we'll get it fixed for you, okay? Uh, number five, this is a big one for kids, the sour candy. Reason why sour candy is not very good at all, um, not only does it have sugar crystals around it to make it sweet, but the sourness actually comes from citric acid. And think of it, it's an acid. So there's more of that in those, that's what makes it bitter. And what it can do over time is acidic. So it can disintegrate the enamel and cause an issue. If you as an adult are, are munching on the sour stuff, um, you know, it can get in the crevice, the interface between where the filling is and the tooth structure meet, right? And that part right there is, you know, obviously a seam, and it's a little more vulnerable to things like that. And what it can do is it can really eat away at that edge. And then there you go, you need another one. The seal's broken, and it's not doing its job. And usually at that point, you're gonna either feel sweet problems or cold problems on that tooth. So it needs to be redone. Uh, number six, suckers. Suckers are horrible because not only are you, you know, you want to crunch them, especially when they get thinner and you want to, you know, crunch things. And that, of course, we just went over, it can break things and crack things and, and lose things, you know, whatever. But suckers also, just think of how long it takes for you to actually uh, disintegrate a sucker and absorb it, right? To break it down, for it to dissolve. It takes a while. So, you're prolonging the time that that sugar is in your mouth or your child's mouth for an extended length of time. And it can cause decay, it can cause other issues where that bacteria is like, hey, it's a party, and it's a party right here. And then you have uh, issues. So suckers, you just try to avoid them because um, you, if you're going to eat something, you want to avoid it staying in your mouth for a prolonged period of time. Now, something to think about when you're trick-or-treating, bring some water along for the kiddos and for you if you're going to dip into their candy. Um, what the water does is it helps to wash away that extra sugar so it's not attaching. So let's say that, you know, heaven forbid, they didn't brush their teeth, you know, since this morning and you just go straight trick-or-treating, they're eating the candy. Well, that sugar and stuff kind of coats the teeth and makes them scratchy, right? Well, guess what? The bacteria comes over and says, hey, you know, it's like Velcro. Hey, I'm going to stick right here. And the water can help wash it away so that that extra plaque and gunk that the that the candy makes on those tooth surfaces, it'll kind of help wash things away. Uh, number eight, of course, my favorite. If they are dipping into the candy, or you are too, make sure you brush afterwards. Brush your flipping teeth. Get all that crap off of there because they're gonna feel fuzzy, they're gonna feel rough, just like Velcro. And if you don't, you're gonna be coming to see me and nobody wants to ever see me unless it's for a cleaning, right? Or you are in pain and you want me to solve the issue. So make sure after the kiddos get done, you know, they got chocolate all over their faces, they're all sticky, throw them in the shower and then hand them a, a, a toothbrush with some toothpaste on it and say, hit it, go brush these teeth up. 
and make sure you're monitoring them. Make sure that they're getting all the way in the back molars, upper and lower, the back of the teeth to get all that crud out of there and even have them open for you and look at the biting surface. Is it still chocolatey or caramely or uh, laffy taffy-ish? You know, if it is, you gotta get that stuff out of there. You gotta spend a little bit more time scrubbing that top surface where all those grooves are to make sure that that stuff's not sticking in there and staying in there, right? And then have them rinse a bunch of times to try to, you know, filter out anything that's still stuck on there, okay? And don't forget the floss too. I'm gonna just put floss down too, especially, my marker's not working. Especially if you're an adult and you've had previous fillings in between the teeth, guess what? The reason why you have fillings in between your teeth is because you weren't getting stuff out of there. Now you're putting sticky stuff in there that can last for a while. You gotta make sure you get that stuff out. So brush and floss for the adults. Kids usually have space between their teeth. Um, as they get more and more teeth, they're, you know, preteens or whatever, then it's a good idea for them to floss because their teeth will be a little bit tighter together. Or if they're all jumbled up because they're coming in and they're all crooked, that's especially an important time to make sure that they floss because then things can get cleaned out of those crevices and, you know, you can avoid coming to see me. So I know this is just basic. Uh, you know, fun things, and everybody's gonna have candy, even myself have had a little bit of candy, but I follow my own rules. As Soon as I'm done, I go and brush and floss, and I always drink a little water, because to me, the candy's too sweet now that I'm on keto anyway, so, um, you know, I kinda wash it down. So I hope these 10 things, or these eight uh, tips, will help you know what to avoid and help you know if there is a problem to go see your dentist. So eight things that Halloween and all the candy that comes with it can cause havoc on your mouth. These are eight ways you can avoid to see me or if you do have a problem that, hey, it needs to be addressed. Number one, avoid the sticky stuff. It can take off crowns. It can get caught in your denture or your partial. It can rip fillings out. Stay away from the sticky stuff. I mean the milk duds and the sugar daddies and the starbursts and the bit of honey, you know, all the fun stuff, of course. But once you sink your teeth into it, it's gonna pull stuff out. And also, it'll get into the grooves and get in between the teeth and it's harder to clean in there. It'll just stay and stick and cause the bacteria to come in and do its thing and have a party in your mouth, okay? Too crunchy, number two. Too crunchy, you know I hate crunchy stuff. It can break a good tooth. It can break a tooth that's been filled. It can break porcelain. Uh, you have veneers, you have um, just crowns, a bridge. It can break all of it. And I've even seen crunchy things break partial dentures and denture teeth too. They're just plastic. What do you think is going to happen when you put a rock in there and you, you keep, you know, chewing on it? Number three, if you are eating something uh, out of your kid's Halloween candy box and you feel a sensitivity with the sweetness, you need to pinpoint what tooth or what area you think it is and then immediately make a dental appointment because more than likely there's decay going. Maybe a filling's getting a little dislodged and it's starting to leak or a crown or something like that. You don't wanna wait on that. Sweetness is one of the first signs that there's a problem in your mouth. If you get that like real, real big twinge when you're eating something sweet. Number four, when you're walking the kiddos outside or the grandkids outside and they're trick-or-treating and you breathe in that cold October air and it's a little bit chilly, and you notice the tooth is getting sensitive. Oh man, right there, oh. That's also a good time to call your dentist and say, hey, I got something starting, I want you to take a look at it. It could be nothing, but you wanna make sure that it doesn't get out of hand so that uh, you know, you're know you not talking about a root canal or something when it could be a simple filling, right? And cause you pain. Number five, something to avoid are those sour things. The sour things have high citric acid uh, and it's an acid, so it's gonna eat away the teeth 
Um, it can eat away at the junction between the filling and the tooth structure also. So very, very bad for you and your kids. Sour stuff is like drinking, you know, battery acid. It, it's acidic. It's very, very harsh on the enamel. And that's the only defense we have against cavities is enamel. So you've got to baby it. Take care of it. Number six are suckers. Suckers, lollipops, anything that's going to be in their mouth for a while. When, you know, the hard... Um, Oh, fireballs, you know, things like that where it takes a while for them to dissolve. You're, they're putting that sugar in their mouth for, for a prolonged period of time and that can cause decay. So suckers are terrible. Try to avoid them. Number seven, bring a little water around. Make sure that if they're dipping into the Halloween candy, that they're rinsing their mouth out, that they're drinking some water because that will flush any extra sugar that's kind of sticking to the tooth structure, causing plaque, um, which acts like Velcro for the bacteria to come and attach in those areas. So make sure that they're, they're, they're flushing their mouth out, that they're kind of diluting all that sugar that comes into contact with their tooth structure. And then finally, number eight, after the big binge of all the, the Halloween stuff, brush and floss, everybody. Especially if you have fillings or crowns, you got to brush and floss that crap off your teeth because I'm telling you, I'm already starting to get the phone calls from this past weekend and Halloween's still up uh, uh, this Thursday coming up and, um, you know, I'm getting busy. I can't complain because that's my livelihood, but I'm just trying to forewarn you. These eight things can help you avoid coming to see me. So make sure that you pay attention and stick to it, okay? I know this is a short show today, but that's all I got. So thanks for watching. Make sure that you check us out on Spotify, uh, Instagram. I just started a little Instagram account. It's called The Habit Master. I've got a YouTube channel, Spotify, and um, iTunes. Look for Lunchtime with The Habit Master shows so you don't miss any episodes. That's it for me. Thanks for watching today, and let's build good habits together.